So you finally went ahead and downloaded Team Fortress 2. After seeing so many videos and memes about this funny hat war game, you finally hit download on Steam and joined the rest of us playing this. Surely your time in all your other FPS games will easily help you play out one of these 9 goofballs that are mercs. Well here we are today with one weapon for each class that I think will benefit you and your team play as you join this game. The scout is our first merc, and he's our lovable, charming goofball. He's hard hitting and more agile than all the other mercs in most situations, and you think giving him a brand new shiny gun will make him even better. But that's just wrong, gamer. I'd advise using the Mad Mill, and the Mad Mill is an item that swaps out Scout's pistol for a jar of milk. Yeah, I know. I said milk. It's a great utility item that once thrown on your enemies, allows you to heal for 60% of all damage dealt. And that's for you and your teammates. You can whip it out in the middle of a team fight, cover your enemies, and push them all the way back while healing up to full. In a 1v1, still allows you to throw it on them, trade blows with even a heavy. So long as you land meat shots with this, you'll be able to abstain a 1v1 with a heavy and come out on top. Don't forget to also put out your teammates who are on fire with it, extinguish them, and it'll also recharge your milk faster so you can throw more. Here we are with our second bird, Soldier. Soldier is exactly what he says he is, a capable soldier. And with his impressive kit, with explosive damage, you can make all your enemies hurt at any range. So isn't it weird that I'd recommend you throw away his trusty shotgun for something like a rinky-dink bugle? While well, the battalion's backup lets you turn you and your entire team into super soldiers. Once you're done shoving down 600 damage worth of rockets, or using your shovel, into the enemies, you unlock the ability to toot your bugle and throw up a flag that gives nearby teammates 10 seconds worth of crit resistance, 35% damage reduction from all sources, and last but not least, 50% damage reduction from the engineer's sentries. You also get a 20 extra health just for throwing it on your back. Now you get 220 health to destroy your enemies with. Let me apologize in advance for all players if your first class you're picking up is Pyro. Most new Pyro players are known for being, shall we say, focused on only what's ahead of them and only really scary up close. You can easily change that though if you swap out a shotgun for a flare gun, specifically his detonator. The detonator fires a flare that can be manually detonated at any range, setting all your enemies on fire. If they're already on fire, it deals mini crit damage to anyone who you catch with that detonation. Now fire damage helps negate healing over time. So the more people on fire, the more value you're bringing to your team. It can also be used to flare jump or debt jump to reach higher levels of the map and flank your enemies. So get behind them, set them all on fire. The stock demo man is honestly one of the most efficient damage dealers in the game. Trust me, I main him. That's why I recommend swapping out his secondary weapon, which I shall not name, for his shield, specifically the charge and charge. You passively get a 50% resistance to fire and 30% resistance damage to explosives, making you nearly a sponge in team fights. Now equipping a shield on them man also gives the demo exclusive charge ability, which means once your meter is charged, you get to charge forward, boosting your next melee hit and increasing its damage the farther you go. I won't cover any of his quirks that come with that. You can go check out Solar Light for that. He has a really great in-depth, basically, channel on how this works and how Demo Knight is useful. But trust me, being tankier in a team fight is useful for everyone. EF2's heavy is almost synonymous with one thing in the game, and no, it's not his minigun. It's his sandwich. Heavy's sandwich is the secondary that allows you to heal 300 health over 4 seconds. Healing yourself up to full in between team fights is so valuable to keeping on the front lines as the slow moving minigun wielding machine that you are. The sandwich is also what you use when you want all the medics to flock to you. You can throw the sandwich on the ground and give your team a medium health kit worth of health every 30 seconds. Be a helpful heavy and share your sandwich by throwing it on the ground with your all fire. Engineer is lucky and that his stock items are actually capable in all situations. He's a valuable class when pushing up and defending any area. His sentries and dispensers allow him to change how team fights play out. So swapping out his signature wrench for the Jag is what I suggest you do here. The Jag lets Engineer construct all his buildings 30% faster, allowing you to throw down whatever you need for the event at hand. You get to swing this little guy around 15% faster, which helps you offset its terrible 25% damage penalty, 33% towards sappers penalty, and 20% slower repair rate, but don't let the downsides of this wrench throw you off. Engineers who can build up and maintain their buildings quick can help your teams push the cart or a point faster. 
Now Medic's kit has you nearly tunnel vision on just using his medic gun. His needle gun is weak and his bone saw is basically useless. But if you swap that out for an uber saw, you turn that rare melee hit into uber charge for your team. Whenever you land a hit with this saw blade of death, you get 25% of your uber charge meter filled up immediately. When any enemy enters too close, give them a few slices of this uber saw and punish the rest of their team for their mistakes of pushing in the enemy. Pushing out ubers is medic's specialty, and when you can push out more ubers than your opponents, you win games that much smoother. Now the sniper's stock kit is also pretty good. His stock rifle is nearly unmatched in power and range. But what if you wanted to basically humiliate your enemies and help your teammates at the same time? Well, if you swap out his secondary SMG for the Jurati, yes, the Jar of Piss, you can help not only yourself, but your team at close to mid-range. Once you chuck this jar of New Zealand champagne onto your enemies, they become doused in and take mini crit damage for 10 seconds. It's useful for spy checking when they're trying to sneak past your team. You can use it to douse fires on your teammates, like the Mad Milk, and scare enemies from pushing at the right time on chokes. Its 20 second cooldown is also offset by uh, helping extinguishing your teammates afterburns if you want to call it that. Now Spy has the unique gameplay mechanic of flanking his enemy and backstabbing them with his trusty knife. A side grade I suggest you try using is the Conniver's Kunai. The Kunai lets you finally cosplay as a ninja, but it comes with a 55 HP reduction. Now don't let that number scare you, because the Kunai also rewards you for backstabs. Each backstab is worth at least 75 health, with a potential of 210 health from the heavy. The larger health pool allows you to cloak and run away, or stay in the fight and pick out enemies your teams have softened up. So use the larger health pool to your advantage. Now there are various ways of getting these items for yourself for free. Four of these items, which I will list first, you can get from achievements. The charge and targe is automatically given to you once you've hit five achievements for the demo man. The sandwich is automatically given to you once you obtain 10 heavy achievements. The uber saw is automatically given to you once you obtain 22 medic achievements. And last but not least, the jurati is given to you once you obtain 11 sniper achievements. Now another good way of getting items is trading. Here I'll be using scrap.tf, not at all sponsored or anything, just the convenient way to get your items. Come over here, once you've logged in, click buy weapon and find whatever you'd like. Once you're done, you check out with metal, in this case being scrap, and you'll be able to trade with the bot. And that's all I have for you. If you're new, I hope this could help expand your probably primarily stock experience with TF2. If you're coming back to it, maybe one of these weapons can shake up your style of play and make you a different way to play the game. You can suggest any other item I've missed in the comments and let me know if you think any of these are wrong, except for demo. I am right on that. I just wanted to recommend one item for each mercenary I thoroughly enjoy and know could help some new players change how they play the game. I don't have an outro, so... Think fast, chuckle nuts!